coil packs might be cocked over, but you never know. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bills' YouTube channel. Well, I'm not too sure on the coil packs. They look a little, uh, a little rough, they do, so I don't know if I'm going to be changing them out or not, but leave your comments down below if yours look a little rough. Well, I got the seal in the timing cover, so that's done. I've got the bracket for the coil packs primed. What else did I do off camera? I did stupid little things, eh? Things that you wouldn't care about. Oh, I took off a flywheel only because I was able to sneak it out. So actually, while I have you here, let's get this cover off on the old uh, back of the engine. So we need a 10 mil. It's going to be a slow process and that's what it does. I got the rear main steel so I'm going to change it and plus I want to paint that cover because you know you're going to see it all the time, right? By the looks of it, it leaked a little but not bad. Since I have it, we're gonna change it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you agree with me. Tell me if you checked out the merch. I know you probably haven't bought any, but that's okay. Just tell me if you checked it out at least. That's all I care about, as long as you're taking the effort to have a gander. YouTube's like another job. It's another job that don't pay a lot. That's what it is, just in case you didn't know. These screws are kind of deckered. They're way in here. Holy, I got two out. You watching? Probably not. I gotta get this thing cleaned up and painted. Don't know why, but I do. This just makes me feel better. Oh, just so you know, I stopped by, uh, what's it called? Pufasico in Sarnia? I don't know, whatever it's called. Place on Confed there with all. A little hardware store. No, unfortunately, I don't recommend anyone going there because the guy was a total douchebag. Sure, I didn't know 100% what I wanted. But as a customer service representative, they should be able to help me out with that. But he seemed like he didn't want to do nothing for me. And he seemed really irritated at me for no reason. So I quit that kind. Let me know if you're from my neck of the woods and you've had problems with them too. Why wouldn't you? All I wanted was black bolts and they didn't have any anyways. All they had was stainless. So I didn't really care anyways. Some people just don't have customer relations skills, eh? And how come your battery's dead already in you? What's really going on? Batteries are almost dead already, for God's sakes. I think this camera's a battery hog. Or the batteries I bought are just junk. That could be too. I have been known to cheap out on GoPro batteries. Just saying. I have been known. Hell no, no. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything. My hands are broken. Hey, where are you going? Captain? I didn't tell you you could move. <laughs> oh, that one's way in there. Holy, there's not freaking screws in the back of this thing. Let's loose them all, what we have left. Then we can go from there. Ah, ah, hey, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Looking forward to doing some valve seats with you guys. Valve's uh, seals, eh? I like you guys watching me do shit. I like watching other people on YouTube do shit too. Oh, I forgot one. I wonder why I couldn't turn that one, Captain. She's still tight, she is. What's really going on? What is really going on? Hope I can get the pan out. Oh man, I can't even get my hand in back there. Might as well get used to getting into tight corners because I've got a lot of that coming up. So you might as well get used to her now. Gotta work some different muscles we do. Work the hard to reach muscles. Be able to see the back of the cam once I get this off. One more to go. Can I get my hand in there and get that one? Nope, not from that way I can't. Nope, not from that way I can't. There's always a one. I'll figure out a way to get in here, don't worry. Nope, nope. Two finger maybe? Oh yeah, need two hands for this one. There's always one in the freaking ignorant spot. Come on girl, get out of there. All right, there we go. So all the bowls are out. So we should be able to remove this thing now. I wish I had like a rubber hammer or something. I'll just give it a little tappy. And we'll just knock the back of the pan so we don't mark it. There it goes. You ready? Here we go. Aw, oh, decent. And actually she looks pretty mint. So there's a pan on the inside. It looks pretty good. So we'll set that over here because it's going to have to be sandblasted on that side. Well, actually, you know what? It's pretty good. I don't think we have to sandblast it. But as you can see in here, we got the back of the cam 
down there, decent. And we got uh, the crank, which has a groove in it from running on that gasket. Oh, what's that? Ah. 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 Can you see? Ah. Decent. So there we go. We got the pan off, or the rear main seal off. So now we can change that while well, it's apart. And we know damn well we're not gonna have any issues with that. So that makes me feel better. But like I said to you before, and I'll say it again, still waiting on parts. So I've been putting some few little videos in between the engine build here. So hopefully you enjoy the little videos I've been putting in between. I know it's been a couple little drone videos and I know you've had a farming video, but the farming stuff's pretty cool. I actually enjoyed doing that video. There's no talking in that one as you've seen, but hey, it is what it is. We got that off, we'll put a new seal in, we'll paint that. I'm just waiting on my spring still, so we can put that head back together and I gotta get some more brake clean so we can clean that head before I put it together. But that head is ready to go back together and I'll put new valve seals in that together and get it done. But then I'm gonna move on to the other head, we'll get it done. So I'll get the two heads done, then I gotta buy the head gaskets after I do a Play-Doh test, cause I got a new cam in. So then I'll order the head gaskets, we'll get the head slot back on, and then I'm gonna prep the blocks and paint the block because I don't wanna paint the block right now because I don't wanna even get in the cylinders and I wanna wash them out. So we'll get that done. We'll put the pan, pan on temporarily. We'll tape off the back and the front. Well, we'll tape off the front because I can't put my nice and newly painted friggin' cover back on and I'm gonna paint the block. So we'll cover the front, and then we'll paint the block, and then we'll put the other stuff back on. But I gotta clean the oil pan off too, so we can paint that. Leave any comments down below and let me know what angle of the dangle you would do it. But this is the way I'm doing it, and hopefully you enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, then that's not my fault. It's your fault. But love you all. Don't forget to check out the merch. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. And until next time, love you all. And you know what to do for now.